What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Phillips and Tyler. Currently, it's almost 8 o'clock, but I still need to record a video. Anyways, today in DPC class, I made one of the coolest things I have made. Well, not really, but it's very cool. You see, we had to design a chair, and I made a chair. It's based off of a house fly. Um, I tried my best. We only had limited resources. We had been working on this for a few periods, but it's finally done. Um, Basically, here's what it looks like. It's a, it's a cardboard chair. Uh, the base of it, it's it's cardboard. It's cardboard. I made a cardboard base, and then I put some black cardboard over over there, and then I made some wings. I love these wings. They're, they're kind of crappy looking, yes, but I like what I made. I I like how I made them and how I constructed them. You see, they're made out of pipe cleaners, and then they have cellophane taped onto them. Uh, and then I stuck little holes and I put them inside the back. And then I made the head. I love it. I actually love the head so much. I used some more pipe cleaners to structure it in the inside. Basically, like, I used my scissors to stab a hole inside of the top, inside of the top of the chair. And then I, I put some pipe cleaners. But, like, I made, like, an upside down T shape. And then I, like, bended it into there. So that way it's, like, really firm. And, it, like, it doesn't fall out. And then, um, I twisted more pipe cleaners around the head to make a frame of it and then I brought a little sewing kit to school and I sewed a little um black fabric thing around there but I also made sure to put some holes in the little black fabric and I put some pipe cleaners on top of there like I I secured the compound eyes to the actual skeletal frame of the head made with pipe cleaners and I put little holes in there and then I twisted some sparkly red pipe cleaner on there like the compound eyes and then I decided to add this bit around. Like you see, initially I was going to use this, that. Uh, I, I wanted to use that same fabric I used to make those fluffies. But I couldn't find it. Um, my mom put it somewhere, probably I don't know where. So I couldn't find it, and so instead I had to make a thing out of paper. Uh, basically, what I did was I got a sheet of of paper, and then I squiggled some black lines on it. And then I cut it out with zigzags, and then I I taped it like that. I tried to imitate the little furry bit of the fly. It's stripy and it's furry. Um, it worked out kind of well, and then I just taped it on there. I forgot to add the antenna, and I forgot to add the lens. It's so sad, but I I, I tried. Plus, what we we were running out of pipe cleaners, so I don't actually know how I would have made it. Or maybe I could have just used black paper, but that wouldn't have been secure. Um, whatever, I, I, I think everyone liked it. And I, I, I like it, it's cute. And then we had to write up a little design evaluation thingy, design thing about it. And I liked it, but I don't like it. There, there, there could have been improvements, of course, but I just, I, I tried my best. I used what was available, and I created a thing. Look, it still kind of looks like a fly if you look at it from like that. Sort of, not really. Um, and it stands, it stands up. And it doesn't fall over. Um, anyways, so speaking about flies and school and stuff, you know my movie review that I'm going to do? Oh, my favorite movie, David Cronenberg's 1986 version of The Fly. Well, yeah, I, I begun writing that. Turns out I don't actually have four pages of notes, I actually have six pages of notes. And I started writing it today, like, just before, within, like, the past, like, one to two hours. Um, I'm up to paragraph two, or, I, no, I think I've been working on it for a few minutes, or a few, I don't remember. I was watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine with my mom, and I was writing it. I was more focused on watching television. Well, I tried writing it, and then I went back down to my room after we had finished watching it, and then... I continued writing. Anyways, yeah, I'm up to paragraph two. Um, but today, I asked, like um, I was talking to Mr. Ladder about it because I needed to ask him if he had seen the movie or not. Um, he hasn't, which is good because you know the whole point of the assignment is to convince him to watch a movie that he's never watched before. Um, but yeah, he, I, I was telling him about it, and I was just like, hey, have you seen David Cronenberg's 19? 86 remake of The Fly, and he said, oh, no, 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 but I remember, you, you like that movie, because, like, I, at the start of the year, right, 
had to do this little questionnaire about ourselves, and I wrote about how that was my favorite movie. That was in February, and guess what? I'm still at it. He still remembers that about me. I don't know why, but that made me feel so happy. Because, like, he, he remembers the things that I say, the things that I write. Like, it just, there, there's, like, a, a bunch of other kids in my class that also did that questionnaire. But he remembers the thing that I, that I say that I liked. He remembers a lot of things about me. I remember a lot of things about him. And that made me happy. Another thing that made me happy today, I also helped him, um, uh, he needs some help uh, rearranging the discs, right? And, and, and I helped. And he gave me two tokens for it. Um, he gave a few other kids one token, but I, I, I was the first one he gave two tokens to. And then some other kids were just like, hey, I helped, give me a token. And so he gave him a token. He's such a nice teacher. Um, and also I know that he likes sci-fi films, so that's another reason why I chose The Fly, because it's a horror slash sci-fi film. And I told him about it, and he was just like, oh yeah, I'm immediately hooked, so. I really hope he likes this review. Well, I mean, he likes my writing, so I've, I've got nothing to lose practically. I think. <laughs> um. What else happened today? Oh yeah, we d we were unable to. Go, um, uh, my mom and I were unable to go to the gym today, as she was very busy. But we're going again tomorrow, and that's so good. I love going to the gym. I just decided to do some weights in my room as well. Um. What else was I gonna say? Flies are cool. I don't have this drawing with me right now, but I was doing some drawing in class. I drew like a baby psycho did I? You know how baby flies called gnats? I called it Natalie. <laughs> I'll show you guys the drawing tomorrow, but it's literally the cutest thing ever. Um uh, yeah. That's off one. Oh yeah guys, do you like my shirt? My chemical romance fullest tea. It was fifty bucks. Like what in the world? That's expensive. But it's worth it. This is one of my favorite shirts I've had it for ages now. Anyways, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you always get updates. Goodbye, guys.